Hi there and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Charlotte and I kind of just share with you what I'm getting up to. Um, that seems to be how things are going at the moment. Today I am expecting a delivery from the spider shop. It's quite an exciting one. We've got some, some live animals coming in the post. I am a little bit concerned because it's nearly 2 p.m. And according to the tracking, it still hasn't left the depot. I really hope the depot isn't very far away from where I live. When I've ordered from the spider shop before, they've come before lunchtime. It is now currently two o'clock. And according to the tracking information, um, it hasn't left the depot yet. So I'm stuck indoors until it arrives. It's really weird because when I've previously ordered from the spider shop, they've delivered via Royal Mail. And most of the time it's here before 11 o'clock. I just, I want it to be here, do you know what I mean? I'm stressed, I'm stressed about the critters that are inside. So one of my buggos that is arriving today is going into this beautiful enclosure that Jamie from the Norwich Reptile Shed made me for my birthday. Look at this, isn't it gorgeous? Uh, the other little buggo that I've got come in is going in something temporary because it will be considerably smaller. That's where my main guy's going at least. So um, yeah, I will check back in once my parcel has arrived, I guess. Two hours later. Okay, I'm really stressed. The parcel is still not here. So I've called Parcel Force. I have spoken to one of their call handlers and I've expressed the urgency of... So the lady that I spoke to is contacting the Norwich Depot, seeing if there's any way they can get it out to me sooner. I am freaking out a little bit. I'm not having a good time right now. I've even offered, if I can make my way up to the depot, is there a chance that I will just be able to go and collect it from them? Because I'm spinning out right now. <laughs> I'm not having a good time. They said normally they don't allow people to do that. They have to try and deliver it to your house first. However, given what's inside, it's urgent that it gets here like sooner rather than later because the time is getting on a little bit. Oh, sorry. Hi there. Hi, yeah. Look, I've located your box. Okay. Yep, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, no, that's fine. I can walk down there. I'll be there in about 20 minutes. That's all right. I, ooh, I should be all right. I should be okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much. All right. Cheers. Bye. I'm going to go and get a box. An eternity later. unboxing okay so I need to clear this table because it's covered in stuff including a pink cowboy hat yeehaw and then we'll get this bad boy opened okay so there are some exciting and not so exciting things in here but I need to get into this I need to get this box open oh my god it took me so long if you were watching my tiktok stories on this day you will have seen the struggle that I had Sweet Jesus. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. We are in the box. So normally I would save the fun stuff till last, but because of the time sensitivity, I'm gonna get into getting the buggos out first. But maybe I'll edit it so you see them set or see them last. We'll see. We shall see what editing Charlotte feels like doing. Editing Charlotte is very tired, has a very packed schedule this week and not much time to edit this video. So we're just going to get it out. We're not faffing about. Because I'm unboxing inverts, I've got my trusty little tweezers handy. I've got a catch cup to unbox them into in case we have any, uh, any little buggos trying to leg it. Basically, I don't want them running off the table. They'll be nice and contained in here. Right, let's get this open because I'm quite, concerned about how long these guys have been in here. Oh my god, I feel like I'm shaking. This has been like the longest amount of time I've had an insect in transit, I think. So we've just got two live insects in here. You might be able to read what they are on there. We have a Java scorpion and a green bottle blue. Okay, so I've got a little little tubby set up for him. Um, I think it will be big enough. So let's go in with these. I've got my hands.
hands are shaking. Oh! Oh, we're alive. We are alive. You're so little. Hi, friend. I'm just going to see if I can bring you in. So this is a matte black Java scorpion. So this is how tiny it is. I'm absolutely lost for words. You're so small. Such a cutie. So small. Like, for scale. Adorable, cutest little baby. So teeny tiny, what a little baby. Very, very cute. So I'm just gonna, oh, just gonna put him in his new little tub um, and get this second one done because this is the one that I'm really worried about. Okay, you get in there? Can you get in there for me, please, little man? There we go. We're in, we're in. Okay, and now this is the one that I'm worried about because it's a juvenile. So I want it to, yeah. Oh, I can see leggies. Can you see leggies? I can see leggies. Ooh. Okay, I'm not seeing any death curl, so. Oh wow, what a beaut. What a beaut. Okay, now that I can stop panicking and I've established that the animals are alive, um, I can come in and show you a little bit more detail. Hi friend. Look at that beautiful tiger booty. Absolutely gorgeous. So I think because this little guy is going into the vivarium that Jamie made, I want to just get it in something a bit smaller just so I can put it inside. So I'm going to use one of these tubs. Can we get you to go in here please? Baby, oh you're so shy. That's it. Oh, do not be... It's kicking hairs at me already. I know, buddy. You've had a bad day. You've had a real tough day. Bless. Right. I know, darling. I know. You're not a fan of me right now, are you? Okay, so now I've cleared a little bit of space, I'm able to get my GBB into the terrarium. This is the one that Jamie from the Norwich Reptile Shed put together for my birthday as a present. Very, very kind of him. I cannot wait to get this spider in there. I feel like it's gonna do some amazing renovations. They're really heavy webbers, so I think it's gonna make this enclosure look really, really cool.
So now that I've got the inverts unboxed and put into their permanent enclosures, permanent for the time being, the scorpion will get upsized as it grows. Um, <laughs> it's time to have a look and see what else I bought. So you've seen some of it already. I bought a couple more of these little enclosures for some bits and pieces. So the first thing that's going in here, and I'll, and I'll do it while I'm on camera, I've got isopods that I am moving into an enclosure. It's the same sort of size, but the enclosures that I've got stack, and this is the only one that's not in the same type of enclosure, so. So I'm literally, it's an aesthetics thing. It's, they look all the same as the other ones. They stack the same. It's just nicer to look at, so. So these are just my wild type isopods. There we go. Right, I'm just gonna dump these in. I do also have a cockroach that lives in here. Oh my God, there are so many babies. I need to show you this, this is so cute. Look at all these little babies in there. They're all starting to hide, I wasn't quite quick enough. I'm just going to transfer these guys over into this box. Oh, there are so many! So that is those guys all sorted. So they can go back on the shelf, that's exciting. So yeah, I bought three of this size box because um, I was thinking the scorpion can go in there when it's bigger. I have a T Abapolosis as well that is quite quickly putting on some size. So once that's a little bit bigger, that can go in one of these as well. And I think it's always good to have spares. I got a couple of this size. I have been thinking about millipedes, so I have been thinking about millipedes recently, but I want to do a little bit more research. Um, so with these ones that I've got, I'm thinking as my African land snail babies are getting bigger, I'd like to sort of like have two in each. I've got four together at the moment, and while that's an okay size for them now, they are going to be getting bigger, so I figured to sort of like split them so they've got a little bit more ground to cover by themselves, and then when they're big enough, they can go in to the main enclosure. I think that's the thing that I love about inverts. You can keep them in these tubs and you can just like recycle them and go round with like other inverts that you've got. Like everything sizes up and you've always, you know, once you've got a stash of these boxes, like you don't need to rebuy them again. So that's pretty cool. So I've got those. The reason why I wanted to switch over my tubs to these ones is they have the little feeding hatch, which is pretty good if you've got anything that's quite bulky. Again, I've been thinking about getting something a little bit more spicy. So yeah, it's a little way off, but they're good to have, you know, in the event of. But they stack as well, and they've already got air holes in them too. So yeah, when you stack them, it doesn't cover up the ventilation, and you can stack like two big ones on top of each other. And then this way, you can also stack the little, the smaller ones as well. And they just... They're neat and tidy, you've not got to worry about them like getting knocked off and stuff. I just really like to keep them in these. It would be nice if they did some a little bit deeper than this, but as far as I'm aware, these are the ones that they've got on the website. So the last of what I've got in here is for an upcoming project that I've got in the works with Jamie from the Norwich Reptile Shed. I've also got some things that he's ordered as well. Ah, okay, it's an avalanche. I'm just gonna have to clean this up. It's fine. Oh wow, we've got some really nice big pieces of cork. I'm so excited, I'm so excited. There's a lot of moss on them too, which is really nice. There is so much cork here, it's like, this is, this is the dream. I'm gonna line it out on the floor so you can like fully take in how much is here, it's insane. Blouse. Got ourselves a little stowaway in the uh, cork bark. Oh, 
Look at this piece. That's amazing. That's so cool. This is awesome. This is brilliant. Jamie, this is mine. I'm having this piece. I think I did all order the logs anyway, but look at this piece. Look at it. Um, ah. This is like a simple pleasure that I don't think very many other people, apart from reptile and invert keepers, can like really appreciate. Ah! Look at that. Oh, so fuzzy! <clears throat> Look at it, there's so much. So this is for two projects, this is for me and Jamie, but yeah, I think we're gonna have a lot of fun with this cork bark. Okay, so that is about everything for this um, spider shop unboxing. I hope you enjoyed the video and the chaos that came with it. I've now got to clean up all of this cork bark and packing peanuts. I'm so excited to get this new project together. Now that I've seen the cork bark and the pieces that I've got to work with, I am so pumped. I'm so ready to get this new terrarium together. I, ah, it's so exciting. So thank you for watching. So if you like what you've seen here today and you want to see more of my content, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Don't forget I've got that new project coming out very, very soon. I'm really excited to share it with you. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching and I shall see you next time. Goodbye.